97.9 The Buzz. Good morning, H-Town. Keisha J. Mac just live from the local Houston BMW Center Studios. You know, for the last couple weeks, we've been talking about One Day Houston, right? A day of service for the age. And we keep saying about 50,000 people are going to all come together and volunteer this Saturday. And we're going to give you a ticket to a concert that money can't buy. You have to volunteer to get this ticket. We have the creator of One Day Houston, uh, Love Has No Limits, Jedediah. Welcome to the show. Man, it's so great to be with you guys. Morning, H. Town. Hey. Well, first start out up. with your name. Does your name mean anything? Yeah. Jet, so Jedediah is, it's a it's a name that's from the Bible, uh -huh. Old Testament, and mm -hmm. it's only in there once. Right. So there's a king named David. He has a son named Solomon. Solomon becomes the wealthiest and wisest king in, in the biblical narrative. And a prophet comes up and says, your name's Solomon, but I'll call you Jedediah, which means beloved of the Lord. So mm. it's a mouthful. It was a not easy name to have growing up right? in Hawaii, you know, <laughs> and uh, I went by Jed for a minute. And then when I started making better decisions with my life, I was like, man, I'm going to go back to my full name. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. So Jedediah now. You had this huge, huge initiative back in California. And was this during the p pandemic? Yes. It was during oh, the pandemic. Madness. And you had people doing all kinds of things with volunteering, whether it was somebody servicing the homeless, whether it was getting people medical help. Um, and then you had this huge concert at the end of it all, and Justin Bieber performed and so many other people. Yeah. Wow. Why did you start this initiative and why bring it to Houston? Yeah, I think such a great question, you know, and I would say, you know, there's hundreds of people that are making this possible and partners, you know, there's not one one group of individuals behind all of it, you know, it's everybody. But I think when we looked at where we were at in the pandemic and that heart of the crisis and the state of the nation and hate and division and, mm -hmm. you know, what was dominating our headlines, I think we all looked at ourselves and said, hey, hate's not working. Mm -hmm. You know, like if you're being honest, hate's not working, it never has it and never will. In fact, hate's a horrible return on investment and love's the only thing that can bring us together and really, it was a statement from Frederick Douglass, you know, which he said, we got to be willing to unite with anyone to do good and no one to do wrong. And that was the manifestation mm. of what happened in L.A. It was a group of people that said it's, it doesn't matter what um, our ethnicity is, our social status is, how we voted politically, how we stand religiously. Like, man, can we unite around one thing and mm -hmm. that be loving our neighbor mm. and helping those in need? And it was crazy to see in a pandemic. It wasn't Houston. Right. We had a closed city. We're in the middle of a Delta variant in 20,000 people in 20 days because we had a restricted venue at the SoFi got off their phones and out of their homes to help humanity, basically proving the narrative wrong. People mm -hmm. thought they weren't ready to go back to the streets. People thought that hate was gonna win and love was not gonna prevail. And we were able to shift the narrative. And, and through that, obviously there was, I think we eradicated 47 million in medical debt for 23,000 families. Wow. Uh, we were able to close 200 child protective service cases. These are 200 Ooh. families that were gonna lose their kids to child welfare, not because they were bad parents, simply poor parents. They didn't have a bed or a refrigerator or a car seat. In L.A., you can lose your kid to the and system. CPS them up. Yeah, CPS, the they were sitting there going to take them. Mm -hmm. And we're like, hey, we'll furnish, we furnished most cases entire homes, oh, keeping man. families together. We're able to serve 100,000 families. And then, of course, you know, you have to serve to celebrate, to get, you know, it's kind of take action to get access. And we had a great partnership with Justin Bieber and Chance and Jaden and Kid Leroy and Pink Sweats and... Chandler Moore and all these guys came as a give back to really honor the volunteers. They mm -hmm. were volunteering themselves. Nice. And, you know, that was a start in L.A. And then, of course, we just we felt that Houston, to be honest, we felt Houston. Hold was on, before hold on, LA. hold on. You got the big names. How hard was it to get the big names on to jump on? Because how do these people know you and how do they know that you're legit? Yeah, I think uh, it's a great question. <laughs> Can't give all my secrets. Yeah. Um, no, we, you know, we got great relationships. As you know, it's all this economy is trust more than anything. It's not about just capital. It's about trust. And uh, thank God we've had some great friends that are connected to, you know, some of these artists and individuals that really knew it was in their heart. Mm. Right. You know, this isn't a marketing or pay to play gig. This right. is going like what? do you care about? And there's so many great artists and activists and influencers that are going, man, I have a platform. How do I leverage it? I have a fan base. How do I turn them into philanthropists? Mm -hmm. And they're just looking for the right vehicle. And it just happened to be the right time and the right moment. Um, I think everyone was sensing they wanted to do something for the city. Entertainment was dead, if you remember, right? Yeah. We had right. no venues, no concerts, no tours. All right. And people were like, we want to do something. And uh, we had that short window and 
Uh, that built a case of, I think, what's become bigger and better than Houston. Obviously, L.A. was not the perfect model. I call it a cut in line. The city was closed. Houston and the city comes together like no one oh, yeah. I've when ever there, seen or been. Yes. When, when there's tragedy in this city, whenever anything ever happens, we have these floods. Um, we all band together in this city and take care of each other. Yes. It's been proven so many uh, d different times. And now you have artists here uh, for the Houston run, like Toby Newigley, uh, Parker McCullough, Tim McGraw is going to be there, and wow. our E.T., wow. who's our preacher who's a friend of the show as well. Yeah. We'll be out there this weekend. I also have a special announcement that you guys don't Wait, even know. Uh, of another what? Artist. Oh, but, but I think you got it. I think it's like after the break, right? Like, are we come back? Are we? Is yeah. that how we do it? Oh, we got some radio. You better, okay. Okay. You got another artist going to be announced. I got some. The, the first two know here, uh -huh. not on you social, heard. not anywhere else. Good morning, nation. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm just gonna okay. let you guys know. That's so. coming up next. And we're gonna tell you how you can volunteer to get that ticket as well. Next, right here on 97 Out the Box. Good morning, nation. Sitting here going, how do I get involved with this? Mm -hmm. Go to OneDayHouston.com. You can join the team. And what's so awesome at the box is we want to share the love. And we're covering, you guys are covering the first 100 people to go use the promo code radio to get free registration. Oh, I so love it. So if you're it. listening right now, you can go to OneDayHouston.com. You can join the team. And what? for promo code radio, which is on behalf of the box, and you actually get a free registration, which means, there's, and that's going to get you your team shirt, your supplies for that day. All you got to do is show up and serve and then get to that stadium and celebrate. And yes, what? we have a special announcement. What? <laughs> I love it. So are we ready for this announcement? Yes, yeah, so we got Okay, so just come in live, first time, nowhere else, not on social media, not on other station. You got to sit here at the box to find out on, the news girl. first. Who's also, who also is going to be showing up? She was with us in L.A. and she uh -oh. wanted to bring her love to Houston. Is the wonderful, the magnificent, very few people on the planet got vocals like her. Tori Kelly, ladies Woo! and gentlemen. That's my vote right there. Love me some Tori Kelly. She can sing. What? I, she's Beautiful. literally one of the she's few that can actually, like, when you go in the studio, you don't need, um, what they be using now, Jessica? Back-to-back weekends at Coachella. Mm -hmm. I was there with them at Coachella yeah. the first week. This set was fire. Oh, yeah. Obviously, a brand new audience. It wasn't the home team. And these guys, I'm just telling you, he's bringing that same set back here to Houston. Okay. Both nights, which means Incredible. for all the cousins, for all the homies, for the family that missed out, that couldn't make the trip. You get to have your own Tobchella experience. Tobchella. Tobchella. <laughs> Tobe Don't want to miss it. You know what's super dope about Toby? Because, you know, he's been at the front of the, show, of the show for a long time. He's always had the same heart. And the heart's always been for the people. So that's definitely the right person to have on this lineup right here. His heart's always been about the city and the community and the people. And he's busy. You know, oh, yeah. like he's got, I know all the stuff they're doing, but I'm like, when we talked to him about it, he's like, man, I want to do this. I got a baby boy coming, you know, like <laughs> you I'm going to bring the whole family. I'm I'm on, I, all the kids. I know <laughs> all the kids. I'm on the crazy run. And I'm yeah. like, but this represents you, yeah. you know, right. and it's unbelievable. Yeah. He just cares about this community and mm -hmm. he's never going to stop being love who he it, is. And it. fat's obviously amazing as well. Yeah. And we're just, man, we're honored to be doing stuff in this city. It's going to be wild. Don't miss it. You can't buy tickets for this. You no. can't buy tickets to this. You can't just get a VIP access. You actually have to just do good, take action. Mm. And there's so many different ways to do it. And of course, if you're listening, like, man, I, I can't go or volunteer, or maybe there's a reason why you can't, or you're simply in need of help. On Saturday, this Saturday, we have 200 different outreach locations across greater Houston where you can come get the help and support. Tell us about oh. that because I didn't know that part. I thought we were just helping everybody, but the people that actually need help can come out and get that help. Oh, yeah. There is 200. Like, if you go to OneDayHouston.com right now, you can actually see the outreach locations. They got a massive day in the tray. Hold on. You, you got a lot of power on this website, huh? <laughs> I'm just asking because when you say stuff on this morning show, oh yeah, you shut them website websites down. Yeah. They always so, crash. <laughs> so what kind of help? What kind of resources are we talking about? Yeah, so you so imagine you can't get uh, medical treatment because you don't have insurance. We have medical clinics across Houston. We have dental clinics where your kids or yourself can get dental treatment. Now you're talking. We're giving away 1,500 free prescription eyeglasses, wow. like framed for you. What? We have we have practical goods giveaway. So there's certain locations that are literally giving away beds and cribs and car seats and refrigerators and clothes and shoes. We have toys that are being given away. We have a brand new park or excuse me, soccer field that's being built in A-Leaf. Oh, no. We have sports wow. clinics. So if you're sitting here, there's two, if you're thinking about volunteering, which don't think anymore, just go do it. Be a part of history. Like you can pick where you want to serve based on what's close to you or what you care about. 
Right. So it might be, hey, that's my that's my school next door. I'm going to serve there. Or uh -huh. I actually want to go to, you know, this spot in the third ward because they're doing more. Or that's something I really care about. Or that's a community. So you can actually pick proximity or passion. And then, of course, if you're sitting at home and you're like, man, I'm, I'm struggling. Like, uh -huh. I'm dealing with hard times right mm -hmm. now. You have the ability to get all types of free resources. And then, of course, uh, for those that need mental health therapy and counseling, you know, with Radio 1, in the box we've we've sponsored to be able to give everyone in Houston a free month oh, of therapy. Yeah, wow. text better, wow. at the, text, at, text yeah. better to 24042 to get that help as well. Yeah, in the convenience of your own home, you know, at your pace and at no cost to you. You can't get this anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Think about you the people who really need it. Like get on that right website here. again. Number wow. one dayhouston.com. That's the number one dayhouston.com. But hold on, I'm kind of mad at you today, J Mac. I'll say this. Why? His merch is so fire. And really? he walked in the studio without no merch. Without no merch. You see that sweater he got on? And it's his shirt. coming. Like, it's... he walked in the studio with no merch, Doc. <laughs> Let me see. Let just, me see. Just like, just see. Look, Mac, and you know, I, I love my I love my tees. I want this tee right here. Yeah, everything. I want that tee, and I want that sweater you got on to the day. Go check out the merch, because obviously it's a merch that matters drop. <laughs> and the one and the one day Houston stuff is Oh, okay. this is dope. Look at this, Matt. Yeah, this I, like I like it. I no, like it. No, don't worry. We're coming back. I couldn't bring it from LA. We're coming back. Our guy's bringing a little... I want this one. Nope. Yeah. No, no. Jedediah, I'm not playing. I'm no. Not playing you're getting, we're getting, like, we're getting your merch. Get. We're getting Jedediah your merch. Jedediah is a person of God. <laughs> and he's lying. I can't... If I'm uh, lying, I'm dying. Man. Yes. <laughs> I, I can't believe he would tell you that. Because you know we're going to hold you uh, responsible. I'm going to say it every day on the radio. I, did too. Too. <laughs> I promise you, this morning show will hold you to your word. <laughs> Until the merch is delivered, do not go to One Day Houston. <laughs> 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 All right, man. Jedediah, thank you so much. We're going to see everybody out there weekend again saturday is a day that you can volunteer and then saturday and sunday is the concert go to one the number one day houston.com that's the number one day houston.com and where can they follow you at Jedediah? oh who cares about me okay. man okay. follow everybody at the box <laughs> we go to go follow love has no limits that's right love has no limits it's 97.9 the box good, good morning, morning. 97.9 the box